Hey guys, this is part 3 of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to prepare the model in Blender. And we will convert it to a Breath of the Wild model. First, we will need to open Switch Toolbox again. Click on File, Open, and open your weapon file. We need to extract this model so we can use it in Blender as a reference point. Go to the left, click on the little plus, expand this and expand models as well. Right click on the sword and hit export. The name doesn't matter but I'm going to call it old sword. Save it and hit OK. Hit OK again and you can close the program. After exporting that, let's open Blender. Once in Blender, go to File, Import, and import the type of model you have. In my case, it's an FBX. Navigate to your new sort model and open it up. It should now import. You can scroll by using the scroll wheel. First, we need to join the separate pieces together. Right-click on a piece to select it. Right-click on the other piece to select that too, by holding Shift. Do Ctrl J to join them together. Now we have one model instead of separate pieces. Let's import the reference model. Go to File, Import, and the first one. Navigate to where you extracted the old sword earlier. Double click on it and it should import. We need to scale our new sword to fit the old sword. Right click on the new sword and hit S on the keyboard. You can scale it around by moving your mouse. I'm going to scale it like this so it kind of fits the other sword. Left click to confirm and it is scaled. Now I'm going to join the new sword with the old sword to keep the bone structure intact. Select the old sword by right clicking. Press tab and make sure everything selected by hitting A a couple of times. It should pop up orange like this. Hit tab again to get out of this and select your new sword. Hit tab and make sure nothing is selected by hitting A a couple of times. Hit tab again to get out of this. While having the new sword selected, hold shift and click on the old sword. Press Ctrl J to join them together. Hit tab and hit the delete button. Delete faces. You can hit tab again to get out of this. Now that we've transformed our new sword into the old sword, we have to delete a UV map. Move your mouse over to the right to this green icon, Object Data Properties. Click on it and select UV Maps. Make sure to delete this first one by hitting the minus button. Now we are ready to export it from Blender. Go to File, Export, and select the first one. I'm going to name it New Sword. Just hit export and close the program. Make sure to save it just in case. Now that we got our new sword ready, we can import it into Switch Toolbox. Open up Switch Toolbox and open the weapon file you've opened before. And expand it. Go to the left and expand it with the plus. Expand models as well and right click on weapon sword. Click replace and replace it with your new sword. A pop up will come up. Just untick join duped vertices. Hit OK. And another pop up will pop up. In this drop down menu, select Breath of the Wild. Untick Use Material and tick Create Placeholder Textures. That should be it. Hit Save. As you can see, our new model has imported. There's no textures yet, but we'll get to that. Next, we will need to do some materials. Move over to the left and expand the model. Expand Materials and right-click on Material Sword. Hit Export and save it. 
The name doesn't matter. Move over to the left and select the material. You'll see three different materials here. We need to set them to ours. Double click the albedo map, hit add and navigate to your textures. Select the first albedo map. Hit OK, hit save, and you will see that this one has changed. Do this for the other texture maps as well. After changing all three, move over to the left. Right click the materials folder and import material. We're going to import the same one we exported earlier. Import it, and you will see it has the name underscore zero. Click on it. Click on the first texture, hit add, and add the second material to it. Hit OK, hit save. Do the same thing with the other two textures. After you've done that, go back over to the left, expand the objects folder, and select the first one. On the right, under material information, it'll have the material select the first one. Now, depending on your model, you will have to choose the right material for it. On the left, you can see what part of the model you are selecting. I believe the blade is the second material. So I'm going to set this to underscore zero. The handle of the sword, which is the second model, is going to be the first material. Which is actually turned around differently from the names, but this doesn't matter that much. You can now go ahead and save the model. Hit save, choose yes, and hit OK. Close the program. Now we will need to open the texture files in Switch Toolbox. Open Switch Toolbox again, hit open, and navigate to your texture files. Open up the two texture files that belong to the sword. Expand it. Click on the first one and make sure it's named properly with the right number. In my case, it's 111. Do the same for the second one. After renaming them, it's time to import the textures. Expand the first one and right click on textures. Hit clear and choose yes. Right click on textures again and import. Navigate to where your textures are and import all of them, both materials. Just hit OK. Make sure you don't expand and click on the texture because that will crash the program. After the first one, we need to do the second one as well. Expand it, expand textures, and clear it by right clicking. Hit yes and import all the textures again. Hit OK. After doing that, you can safely save both of them. Hit the save button, choose yes. The first one will save. The second one will pop up for whatever reason. But just hit save and save it over the other one. Yes, and OK. And you can now close the program. This concludes the third part of our tutorial series. In the next part, we will be creating an actor and setting up some file structures. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This really helps out the channel.